Actually, somebody who sat down to have a debate with you three years later didn't really like the way that he came across, so now he wants you to remove your video, otherwise we're gonna punish you. By the way, Pedophile's channel's still up. Have you been to Seven Awesome Tweens? <laughs> First, let me provide some context. You, YouTube has actually filed a privacy violation notice for our oh, male privilege is a myth, change my mind video. And here's the thing, I'm not above admitting when I or anyone on the team has made a mistake, but YouTube's yeah. suggested videos alongside of it were a bit questionable. Uh, the thing is, so we actually got this uh, a notice in the mail that said uh, someone has declared this to be a privacy violation, right. okay, on YouTube. And all it lists is about four or five time codes. And there are five people who appear throughout all of those time codes. This yeah. is, by the way, a video that we do. This was a video, it's, it's changed my mind. So we sit down, have a civil dialogue with people with whom we disagree. There's a camera and a camera and a camera. Like, yeah. no one is walking in going, well, what, there are cameras, what you hide them <laughs> in the bathroom stall? Yeah. It couldn't be more obvious. People consent to being on camera. And Texas is a single party consent state where this right. one was performed with no reasonable expectation of privacy in a public location. So they just want us, so they just want us to blur everything out. <laughs> and by the way, this isn't even obeying That's the ridiculous. law. Yeah, this isn't even obeying the law. This is, it's, not about, it's not about security, it's not about harassment or abuse. It's not even obeying single party consent law. And I understand YouTube's a private platform, they say they can do whatever they want, but there has to be some semblance of a business contract where we can say, okay, well, hold on a second. In the state of Texas, this is what we can film. This is what we can't film. And they go, well, actually, somebody who sat down to have a debate with you three years later didn't really like the way that he came across. So now he wants you to remove your video. Otherwise, we're going to punish you. By the way, Pedophile's channel is still up. Have you been to Seven Awesome Tweens? <laughs> It's not, well, look, don't they have to go by the state laws on this legitimate question, right? So if it's a single party consent state for me to have a legitimate gripe with any company to pull something down or make you adjust the content, doesn't it have to be within the law? Like I, I don't have to, I have to be able to make no, a case, No, no, right? it, it, it doesn't uh, because they, they're going a little bit further than the law. Okay. I guess if, if they weren't enforcing the law, like if they're saying, well, actually, on YouTube, age of consent is 12, you know, as they, many there would like in Silicon Valley, <laughs> they can't do that. Yeah, but since right. they're saying, well, we're going a step further, and even anyone who signs consent, even anyone who, who is in a single party consent state, if they later on say, actually, I wish well, that I hadn't, we're going to make you take it down. Okay, so how, how as a content creator, how can you possibly ever make anything? and invest the money, the time, and the energy, and the resources to go down and do something like this without the fear of somebody just randomly saying, oh, I don't like Steven Crowder, and I yeah. happen to walk by, the whole video has to come down or I'm suing. Hot wing reviews or pedophile channels. That's how. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not a care exactly. in the world. Those, those no, are the, the point, two things. You the point is, investigate, think about this. Videos. Investigative journalism has to be dead. Yeah, yeah, It absolutely. would have to be dead if yeah. YouTube had their way. It doesn't make any sense. It couldn't possibly exist. And what's important about this, too, is these policies, they cater to people who will always use the system for censorship, not freedom. Yeah. This is why conservatives are at a disadvantage here, because conservatives don't go on and mass flag videos as hate speech to get oh. them auto-removed, which is what used to happen. Conservatives don't go around and, and ask that videos be pulled down because they were video tapes showing up at a public protest. Some people have, but not en masse. These policies always cater to the worst, most anti-freedom among us. And if you try to reach out to YouTube to fix it, we say, hey, listen, who, who's complaining? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> what? The time codes don't even make any sense. You have one that's 20 minutes in, and you have one that says zero minutes in, and they have one that says yeah. 24 seconds in. So what do we actually need to change? Oh, uh, I don't know. What, what do we need to blur? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll direct all inquiries to the child banging wing. <laughs> to the bang a child at they're, google support .com. And you wanna know right why there are so many pedophiles, by the way, in the entertainment industry and YouTube, it's like, oh, this is this pandemic, it's Kevin's Space. No, it's because you got rid of their natural predators, conservative fathers. That's right. Conservatives yeah. are the pedophiles, <laughs> what garlic is to vampires, okay? We yeah. are the people out there who want, we want to actually enforce the law. Yeah. And we actually want channels where people who are actually engaging in pedophilia to be removed, not demon. But you don't demonetize the person because they had a civil dialogue with someone in a pompadour who started screaming to check his privilege. I just, you know what? You know, let's, let's get the hell out of this motherfucker. I'm getting mad. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, watch another one of our videos or subscribe, hit the notification bell. Those don't really mean anything anymore today in YouTube. I would say hit a like with a thumbs up, but that might be gone, or comment below, but that most likely will be censored. So bookmark the page. Of course, if you're using Google Chrome, they'll find a way to fuck with your bookmark. So just join up at lottowithcrowder.com slash mug club. That's lottowithcrowder.com slash mug club. You get a hand etched mug and you get access to the full daily one hour show and you're not beholden to Susan Wojcicki slash Clint Howard.